Hello everyone, this is Goku Sun DBZ, and this is just a short little review of the game Late Strangers. Now, you can play this on multiple different consoles and stuff, but I specifically chose because this is the only version that I personally played and own. So, this is for the Nintendo Switch version of the game. First up, how does the game play? It plays actually pretty solid in my opinion. Gameplay wise, it works actually pretty good with the Pro Controller in my opinion. It's a good, smooth game. Low times are actually not bad compared to a lot of other games of this generation. So that's a positive. Also, I want to say on the art area, it's pretty solid. And honestly, the number one thing, which you hear music in the background from it, I definitely have to give, at least in the area of music, an A+. Hands down. Great soundtrack, great guitar work. It definitely feels like some from the 90s, and I really appreciate that. But it's much better quality. Now... It looks like an anime fighter, as you can see, with very much anime art style on a lot of the characters, though this is actually a collection of different characters for many different indie video games, such as, of course, the character Isaac, which is one of the five main characters I've personally actually like the most of the ones I play. Total, there's like, I think, 16, 17 characters on the roster. I've tried out about 10 of the characters. Of those 10, I think the 5 that I probably like the most gameplay aspects is Master T, not to be confused with Mr. T, um, Gun Vault, which is not bad if you're wanting long distance given Sheen abilities. Also, I would say Isaac, though a very interesting character, to say the least which is one of only two characters I actually knew on the roster of this game before I picked up the game. And also, the other two characters I actually enjoyed, one is the main reason why I ended up buying this game in the first place, and that is Shovel Knight, which I've actually really enjoyed playing as. The other character, which I think actually overall gameplay aspect I may like the most, is the uh, character, it goes by Lion Gate. Interesting name, but anyways, looks like more of a traditional like anime style swordsman. But overall, as I said, gameplay is solid, very smooth, load times are actually not bad, music is superb, and I like the variety of also stages backgrounds. Like, they gave a stage to every character in the game, that's good. You don't always get that, especially with fine games nowadays. I mean, just look at games, some games out there, like, uh, for instance, uh, Grand Blue Fancy Versus, though I love the game, it's only got, like, maybe seven stages, six or seven stages total in the game. This game has, like, 15 stages from the start. And you get all the content right from the start. You don't have to pay DLC or anything. So that's definitely something I have to give a lot of pluses to also. So that's going to help improve its overall score, I think. Besides the incredible... Though some of the characters seem a little mixed on the quality of the art done on them and stuff, to be fair. I will say Shovel Knight looks a lot bigger and bulkier than I would have expected from the game Shovel Knight. But, I'm fine by that. He actually is fun. Now, one thing to know, if you're a fan of a lot of Arc System work, anime fighters, now if you like anime fighters in general as a casual or some, I actually think Blade Strangers will definitely appeal more to casual fans than I think a lot of the hardcore like fighting game fans, especially the Arc System work type fans, people who have played Guilty Gear for years, people like Max. I will say that is one area you may be disappointed. I feel that this game was designed a little bit more to appeal more to the casual to uh, middle audience. Though as somebody who's been playing fine games for years, some casual games can really appeal to me, but that's because I'm 
more open-minded. There are people that prefer just games with strictly high complexity mechanics and things, which is why a lot of those people tend to be appealed to games such as the Guilty Gear series. But I think if you like games like uh, Grand Blue Fancy Versus, you'll probably definitely like Blade Strangers, in my opinion. It's a really good anime-esque type fighter, which is definitely cool. Though a lot of the characters and stuff, a lot of these characters come from like Western games rather than Japanese games. Well, to an extent. But definitely an interesting game that I will say I do highly recommend honestly getting it. Give it a shot. If you can find it on sale or a good price range, on average, you can probably find this game's price range range anywhere from $20 to $40. So it's more a price like an average fine game for the most part, but you're getting a decent amount of content from the start, and you don't have to worry about DLC or anything. You can unlock, like, colors for the costumes and stuff you don't have to pay. Like, in uh, most games from Arc System Works, make you pay for the extra colors, which is an issue I have with some Arc System Works stuff. But with that said, yeah, across the board, I think gameplay-wise, though it's somewhat simplistic, it's a pretty solid fighter, in my opinion, as long as you gain the basic ideas, like, just do, like, basic combos and stuff, mainly consists of using three main attack buttons. One you would do, for an instance, like Shovel Knight, you get three basic, uh, or rather, two basic hits from one button, then you press the next button to get the third, and then you can press another one to get a fourth and get a small string combo. There are other combo possibilities, more so with other characters than Shovel Knight, though, I will say. Though, I like the very creative stages on this game. Definitely a lot more imagination involved in this game than a lot of standard mainstream fighters. Definitely it is more of an indie fighting game, in my opinion. But that is part of, I feel, the charm of this game. Now, if you're wanting content, now, I will say, there is a basic tutorial mode to teach you most of the basics and all the mechanics of the game. It's a very basic tutorial, but it's nothing bad, in my opinion. You have also training mode, which is what I tend to use usually. I'll look at some of the basics in the tutorial and usually jump into training and get a better idea of some of the basic combos and things like that. It's not bad, and I will say I like the fact it has like an online mode, though let's be honest, like I've checked multiple times and no one else ever was playing online. So the online community is pretty much dead on the Switch. I don't know about the others, like PC or PS4 and stuff, I have no clue. But, yeah, if you're wanting to jump in for online play, don't get the game if you're expecting online games. You're probably better off going with Arc System Work stuff, or Dragon Ball Fighters and things like that. But, if you don't mind being no online play, then I think you will enjoy Blade Strangers a little more so. Also, you have a uh, mission mode as well, you can do for like challenges, as well as survival mode, you have a story mode, though it's a very simplistic story mode. I personally prefer just sticking with the normal um, arcade mode, personally, for me. Though I did like also the mission mode. That was one of the things I had more fun with, was mission mode on the characters. And also, as well as, yeah, you can do verses and everything like that, of course. But for me, I prefer playing standard arcade mode over story mode just because there tends to be a little bit more load time and more taking time to get through the stages where in arcade mode, it's basic seven stages and that's it. If you want more just gameplay, but I will say this is a game I get the feeling would be really good for definitely local play for two people playing against each other. This would definitely be a game that would be a lot of fun. Definitely between a couple friends. But overall, um, my score on the game personally for this, I'm going to have to give Blade Strangers, I think across the board, it's a 
great game. There are a couple things that weigh it down, though I'm not going to reduce its score much because of the online, since I'm not the biggest on the online aspect compared to other gamers out there. And I'm sure you know who you are. But with that said, overall, I give Blade Strangers... Uh, I'm going to have to give it a B plus overall, which is a pretty solid score. I mean, it gets an A plus in the music. I think the artwork and stuff gets definitely around an A. I think it could have used a little bit more in the area of combo material and stuff, aspects. I feel they could have at least added a little bit more in that domain. It is nice at least they gave a couple of like hyper type special combos and stuff to all the characters and very unique to say the least. But overall I honestly had a lot of fun with this game and like I said I give it a B plus on my rating scale. And stay tuned next time for my review of Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. I'll see you next time. Same YouTube time, same YouTube channel, and I hope you enjoyed this music. And stay safe out there.